everyone, it's me. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana, and I'm a Canadian, but I have been living in the UK for the last seven years. However, we are in Canada. Can you tell? <laughs> Hope you don't get motion sickness. First up, can you hear the bugs? <laughs> Welcome to summer in Ontario. I get a lot of messages from British people sort of sharing what they think Canada is like or what it looks like or, you know, what Canada is. And unfortunately, a lot of you guys are wrong. So this week I'm going to take you to various places around Ontario where I'm from and show you what Canada looks like. So without further ado, let's go. Now, first up, it is a beautiful morning. Um, a beautiful 30 degree morning. I think our first activity of this video, well, first up, I need sunglasses. <laughs> After I get some sunglasses, I think on this beautiful, clear, loud, can you hear the bugs? Beautiful summer day. We are going to go for a hike and I'm going to show you what like the nature element of Canada looks like. So I hope you guys pack some sunscreen because it's gonna be a hot one. Um, in Canada, of course, it gets very, very hot down here in Southern Ontario. Um, it's like early, it's already getting closer to 30 degrees. We have a lovely bit of humidity as well, which is really fun. So the temperature feels a lot hotter than it actually is. Anywho, I need sunglasses. I need to um, put some sunscreen on and then let's go. <laughs> Let me show you what Canada looks like. Hey everyone and welcome to Webster's Falls. Now I wrote this stuff down so I couldn't get it wrong. So Webster's Falls and about 78 acres of the surrounding land was purchased by Joseph Webster after his family arrived, guess what, from England in 1820. So it has had previous owners but Webster and his family came over, bought it, and now we got Webster's Falls. Now I wanted to bring you here, obviously it's a waterfall <laughs> and it's really cool. It's actually quite big. However, the main reason is that this is not the only waterfall. So here in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, it's like a pretty decent sized area. There are 156 waterfalls in Hamilton. Yes, 156, which means that Hamilton is the waterfall capital of the world. The more you know. So one of those waterfalls, of course, is Webster's. It's one of the, perhaps the more impressive ones. It's certainly quite big, although it is not the tallest out of the 156, but it is still pretty cool. So it is pretty special on this beautiful, hot, sunny day. <laughs> I am properly sweating, you guys. I wonder how well that comes through. On this beautiful, sunny day, we can come see the waterfalls. Um, I don't know how well you can hear it right now. Um, it's loud. So actually, let me stop talking for a hot second. This is what the water fire, waterfall sounds like on this camera. There is actually some controversy with Webster's in that it was just getting too busy and too popular. So I believe in the summer months, you have to actually book or like reserve a spot to come here, mainly because they were trucking in tourists, especially from like the Toronto area. So we're like somewhat close to Toronto. They were trucking in tourists to come see the waterfalls and it was kind of like damaging the surrounding area and the wildlife and the conservation area and stuff. So in an attempt to sort of protect this area and protect the waterfalls in the summer months, like high traffic months, um, there's some sort of like registration system in place. I don't think we're there just yet. Um, a weekends, it's a weekday. So I don't think it, I should have Googled that. I don't remember what it is anyway. All that is to say, a lot of people come here. So I think when a lot of British people, wow, is this thing on? I literally can't see. I think when a lot of British people talk about Canada, I think a lot of people tend to think cold, which obviously it is like part of the year, but certainly not now. I don't think a lot of people think of like the sheer amount of 
natural beauty that is here even in southern ontario so there are so many people who live in southern ontario most of the population lives extremely close to the border with the u.s so even down here in like highly populated areas we still have all of this natural beauty i don't know how else to say that without sounding really cringy so yes it certainly gets cold although saying that Visiting any one of the waterfalls in the wintertime is really special. You got the snow, you got the ice. It's frigid, but it's still beautiful. So I am very grateful to come from such a beautiful country. I certainly miss this. <laughs> um, and the nice thing is when we are done this, when we make our way back home eventually, maybe stay here for a couple hours, enjoy this, the, the weather, the sun. But when we get home, I'm gonna have a shower. And guess what? I'm gonna sit in air conditioning, <laughs> which is definitely something I miss in England. So Webster's Falls has like two main viewing areas. We are at like the proper one, like the big one. And I just want to show you guys how loud it is. Okay, so you're good distance from the falls. This is how loud it is. I will also say we went to Christie Conservation Area. So there are loads of conservation area places here in Ontario. We went to Christie, it's pretty close to this waterfall and this sort of trail area. Um, you've got a huge lake, um, beautiful trails for hiking, for like mountain biking. Um, you can swim in the lake. There's like all sorts of stuff. So just a beautiful place to be. I'm having a great time. Is this video good? I hope so. I should also say a little hot tip. If you are able to come to Webster's, I absolutely think that you should. Um, please don't come on the weekend. So this is like, I don't know what day it is. It's like Monday or Tuesday and there's almost no one here. So the primary viewing spot is literally just us, which if you are unfortunate to come on the weekend, it's not gonna be like that. I have been here on a Saturday afternoon and you almost have to like queue up to get to the front to view, which kind of sucks. It's great because everybody is enjoying, you know, the natural area, but as an experience, it kind of sucks. So if you are able to come visit, please come on a weekday. <laughs> you won't regret it. All right, well, we have packed some snacks. To be honest, I could go for a snack right about now. Um, and we are going to explore a little bit more. Enjoy this beautiful Monday and or possibly Tuesday morning slash afternoon. I don't even know what time it is. Um, I hope you guys like this look at Webster's Falls. But this is just the beginning because I got more to show you. Hey everyone and welcome to Stratford. Yes. Oh, Ontario has a Stratford. It is not a joke. In all actuality, if you look at a map of Ontario, we have so many British towns and cities and villages. <laughs> I mean, what can you say? It is what it is. I wouldn't judge Canadians though. I think it's a lot of British people came over and said, you know what, let's just pull from what we know. <laughs> so we are here in Stratford. We also have Windsor, Kingston, London. I mean, we even got a Paris. <laughs> But Stratford is known for the theater. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the accent. I have had some tequila. I'll be completely honest. So we are here in Stratford. It is about 30 degrees Celsius. Very hot. We got a heat warning in effect, but that's not going to stop us because we are here to go to see um, the theater. We are seeing spam a lot. How British. I hope the noise is all right. I am kind of sitting by the side road, like the main road, but I found a seat in the shade, so. We gotta work with what we got. So we got here, we just had a really nice lunch. I had a Long Island iced tea and some fish and chips. Then we have a little bit of time to kill and then we are seeing Spamalot at the Avon Theater. Yes, we are in Stratford. We are going to the Avon Theater. Yes, in Ontario, I know. So Stratford is a really, it's a very cute, I know people don't like when I say cute, it is a cute town. I hate to say it, but this is the home of Justin Bieber. I know, but it is a very cute town. It's very um, like picturesque without 
being like it's a little touristy not too touristy but of course a lot of people come here for the theater so it's a beautiful day i am absolutely sweaty but that's okay um it's a lot clearer today we've been dealing with haze from the wildfires but not um, much of a problem today we got a little bit of a breeze i hope that's not too loud anyway yeah we got a little bit of time to kill and then we are going to see spam a lot um and i'm having a great day so this is a I would consider a small town in Ontario. I have to Google the population, um, but it's, it's very cute. It's very pretty. It's very clean. Welcome to Ontario. Anywho, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I'm going to get back to my family. Yes, I am out here with my family filming like a weirdo. Someone's got to do it. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, we are going to go see Spam a lot. If you've seen it before, cool. I haven't. This is my first time. Um, and I'm, I'm having a great day. Just a little bit sweaty. You know what? An ice cream would be a real treat right about now. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys. So yesterday we went to a like family friend hangout thing, but we needed to drive through Toronto. So I thought it might be fun to show you guys what the Toronto skyline looks like as you move through it. So the sun had just set. We had just had like a really bad thunderstorm. So the weather's kind of weird. But anyway, I thought it might be fun. Here's what Toronto looks like to the just the, the everyday Canadian driving through the city. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. Hello again. Wow. This is me in the backyard of my family home standing dangerously close to the pool. <laughs> now I do hope this video looked like something and if it didn't, wow. Thank you so much for watching it anyway. If you'd like to watch more content which would truly, truly, truly be so awesome. It really would. How about this one about Canadian versus UK supermarkets? But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye!